Welcome everyone. In this video, I'll be doing a teardown of ASUS RT AX55 router. Uh, so here I have the failed router, the one in the middle. The one on the left side is an actual working router. So first step was to see if I was getting power in the adapter, which I was. I'm getting full 12 volts on the, on the pins here. There is no short, nothing in the adapter. As you will see now, uh, once I'm like here, I'll show you guys. It's doing 12 volts, no problem at all. So what happens is this router just doesn't power on. One day I came back home and this was just dead. Like no power, literally no power. And this is the second time that has happened. So this is the actual working router, which is a refurbished router actually. As you can see, the power is good, so we are good on that. So what happened, uh, I purchased two or three of these in July 2021 uh, during the COVID uh, era or period, I suppose, uh, because everybody is working from home and whatnot. I needed new equipment and I purchased this. Um, so the first router, the one that you saw that was working, is a refurbished router. It's a replacement router. My one unit, it failed just about two months, three months short of the warranty period expiry, which is two years. So in 2023, June is when it was supposed to expire. So it failed in about January or February, give or take. Uh, and I was fortunate enough to get it replaced. But the replacement unit, the serial number, I can't really track or anything. It's just like I don't know where it is from or if it even has a warranty. So that unit is still working. This unit, however, doesn't work. So um, to open this, you, you need technically you should have the proper tools. Um, the flathead screwdriver didn't work for me. It, it's a horrible, tedious job. Um, so flip it open, there are two screws on the bottom left, so these are rubber pads you see, uh, so there are two of them behind them, and two on the top here, they're on the back of the router, so let's get them open. And these were the easiest uh, to kind of take, uh, well, the screws I should mention not the case or not the casing uh, don't, don't don't even bother if you don't have the right tools you're, you're probably going to mess it up at least that was my struggle i i tried lots of things so again so two screws here so it's probably these rubber pads or rubber feet and then underneath there will be two screws uh, I thought the ones on the top also had the screw because I couldn't get it open So I thought maybe there was something there, but they don't have any underneath. So the top right that you see They don't have a screw underneath. So just these two pads of so total four screws If you guys want to, I don't know, go online, check for the serial numbers and see if it's still under warranty or not, but it's not. Feel free to do so. Um, Mac address, go for it. I, I can't use this unit anymore, so it's probably going to the electronic junk. So, there you go. And that's the model I was uh, pointing towards. So I did the recording separately. I'm doing the audio over, overlap, or voiceover, sorry, I should say. <laughs> the voiceover now. So you can't open it with just brute force. Unless you're Hulk, maybe. Or if you have a hammer, you could use brute force. Hammer opens uh, pretty much everything, depending on the size, right? So. The bigger the size, the better it is. I'm talking about the hammer, by the way. For example, a sledgehammer will shred it to pieces. So this is what I'm talking about. I couldn't get it open, so I was like, 
let's try the feet there on the right so it doesn't have anything the f the next few bit i will be fast forwarding and i will talk about the experience or what actually happens to these units purchase two units the three unit and uh, that i'm going to show you guys like i put the screenshot up here on the, on the video somewhere um the one was actually open box i wanted to just try it but it had a tp link adapter so of course somebody decided to you know return the unit with the wrong adapter so i shipped back but the other two units they were brand new uh, they weren't open box or anything I, I don't think they were i don't remember anymore but i think they were brand new so these are the tools that I originally tried. First of all, let's go talk about my struggles here to pry it open. There are tabs on the side here, so I don't know if you can see it in the video here, but I, I tried this uh, guitar pick sort of thing. This kit I got for some of, I had an older iPhone, I need to replace the screen for that. So I got this kit with that, but that failed. I don't have the phone anymore, so there's no video about that. Again, um, tried this little uh, pick of a thing, didn't work. And as you'll see, the constant struggle that I had trying different tools. So uh, enjoy, enjoy the struggle that I had. Uh, uh, watch this, but again, um, the router itself, before we continue watching on or enjoying my pain here and trying to open this up, um, both units, Feel the same way. The other unit that I taught was talking about uh, that was that is still working. It's a refurbished unit, uh, replacement unit. Originally, it's the same thing happened. Uh, no power. It just dies. There's nothing. No Wi-Fi. No network. Uh, everything just goes dead. Exactly like this router here. Two out of two. That's hundred percent failure rate. If you want to take the risk in 2024 or whenever you watch, whenever you're watching this video even if it's for like 50 bucks don't bother buying it if you're buying it from facebook marketplace or some other place don't pay more than five bucks please it's not worth it i just purchased a tp link uh, ax10 router for 10 bucks from facebook marketplace it hasn't been used much i looked at the logs so it's almost brand new that's an older unit but don't Please don't buy this unit. Um, you're gonna regret it. Yes, it will fail. I can assure you it will fail. 100% failure rate, that's something. So I'm just waiting for the other unit to fail. It should be failing probably in a year or so because that's how long it takes, about two years just to close or just after the warranty period is expired. And that's when the units fail. So next year, um, probably it will fail and I probably make another video about it. Uh, if you guys want to see uh, content for, so for example, I'm in this video you'll see it then I'll try to kind of troubleshoot what's happening. There are a bunch of shorts and whatnot. I don't know if that's right. I couldn't find the schematics, but if I do find the schematics, if somebody has the schematics for this, please share it with me. I will try to see what I can find, if anything at all. Or... <clears throat> For you guys, if you guys want, I can try risking opening the actual working unit and try to figure out where the voltages are dropping or where the short might be. I think there is a short somewhere that's causing it. Maybe a chip failed or if, if it's a chip, then it's a chip. It's dead, right? So, uh, But you'll see at the end, um, there is just no power. When you turn the power or when you toggle the power button on and off, on, there is no voltage, it's zero voltage, it's like almost a short somewhere and nothing happens. So the voltage drops to zero, it's like almost a short. It feels like a short, but it could be something else too. So here comes the big guns. This is uh, this uh, long metal uh, pry prying thing of a jiggy. It is the one that actually helped me get into the last stupid router uh, without it uh, I, I don't think i would have been able to unless if you have a knife i wouldn't recommend using a knife you might hurt yourself uh it is stuck on pretty 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 well so it's not glued on it's just stuck on so 
there you go you, you'll hear a bunch of pops and cracks uh, you have to force it in um, don't worry there isn't any circuit board near the casing here so you'll see uh, you can fast forward if you want but you'll hear a bunch of uh, pops uh, you have to kind of just jam it in there it, it takes some force it's not an easy uh, kind of prying up um, process it, it is difficult it needs force so don't be using a knife please uh, you might actually hurt yourself if you don't have the proper tools uh, if you have a flathead screwdriver that is thin head or very thin at the front you might be able to use that get away with that but if you don't have the prying tools like these yeah it's, it's going to be difficult finally i was able to open this I don't want to open the other one, so I don't know if you guys so want to see me open the actual working unit as well, but this was a struggle. So that's it, and that's all to it. Um, no tabs were damaged during the making of this video. So just going to show you guys again, or trying to troubleshoot here uh, where the voltage drop to zero completely it's this short but to open the the motherboard of the router itself the green thing that you see the pcb and there but there are two two screws yes there are two screws holding on so one at the top top left and one on the top right and so just open those two screws and then the pcb just slides off and there is a heat sink you see this black and big rectangle that's the heat sink part uh, on the back side as well there's a bunch of circuit board and i just go on here trying to figure out if i can see where the short might be or what's happening but no luck no success no success so unless i open the other unit up if you guys want me i can try opening it up and try to troubleshoot this where this failure is unless you know where the failure is if you're at asus tech if you know what i need to do please do comment and i will try to do it and then try to fix it up but otherwise it's paper weight going to the electronic waste or maybe it might be a nice fancy paper weight just the motherboard uh thanks guys thanks for watching please hit the subscribe button please hit the like button if you like this video much appreciated take care stay safe